Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you my top 5 sideline box inbounds plays. So first in this play, well there's the basketball, <laughs> anyways so first in this first basketball play we are going to have player 4 screening for player 3 and then player 3 is going to use that screen and pop up at the same time. Well, three is going to get the ball inbounded to him, and then we are going to have player five screening across for player two who will pop up. And now player two is going to have the ball. Player one is going to run inbounds and use player four and five as a screen. Player one is going to pop up, two is going to dribble to this side, and that should be a nice, quick, easy layup if he catches it down here, or three-point shot if he gets it out here. My next box in sideline inbounds play is going to be player 5 is going to be screening for player 2. Now this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, however, it's still not one of my top, but it is one of my favorites. 5 is going to screen for player 2. 2 is going to then go down and screen for player 4. So this is like screening the screener kind of plays. And then player 4 is going to pop out. And then at this time he's going to get the ball. And player 1 is going to pop out and use 5 as a screen. Now once player 1 gets the ball he could set up the offense. Or the other option is for player 5 to go and back screen for player 4. And for obviously 3 would be inbounds or inside the, uh, the sideline. Player 2 will then go out to the 3 point line and screen for player 3. So, so player 3 should go along the baseline. And 4 is then going to cut down either this side or that side towards the rim. And both of these players could be open down low or player 3 might be open along the wing. So this next sideline inbounds box play is very similar to what I had called the S play from a very long time ago. I've got a few videos on that play. If you type in on my search bar on my, on my YouTube page, the S play, S as in snake, Definitely a very good baseline inbounds play, but in this play, we're going to have player 4 and 5 squeeze together, and whichever player, player 3 calls out. So let's say player 1 is Tony, and player 2 is, let's call him Alan, named after me. Let's say he wants to call Tony, because Tony's a better shooter. He's going to go call out box T, box T, box T. And that means Tony's going to go through, they're going to sandwich screen, he's going to get the ball, and he could set up the offense, however the main idea behind this is a, like a last second play, where he is now going to take that 3 point shot or mid range shot. In this 4th box sideline inbounds play, this is going to be very similar to the last one, however as you can see we have our post players on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and focus in on getting a nice easy basket from down low. So how we're going to do that, let's say this is, um, let's let's say this guy right here, let's call him Mario. I've got a Mario in front of me, so that's why I'm calling him Mario. So let's call him Mario. He's going to call uh, Box M, because that's Mario, M. And Player 1 is going to screen for Player 5, same as Player 2. Now Player 5 could cut down this way. However, he could also go over top and down the, uh, down the side of the key, so he can go this way, or he can go this way. If he goes this way, over top, it's a little bit better because it keeps you uh, him away from player 4's defender. And player 3 would then inbounds to player 5, a very strong pass. He should start passing to him when player 5 is up here, so that he catches it down here right away and can go up right away for a nice easy shot. Our next and last top five sideline box inbounds play is something that's very simple, something that you can run along the sideline as well. I mean baseline. Anyways, so basically player one and player five will screen across, two will pop out to the three point line, and player four will pop down to the low post. And this could be a nice one two pass for a basket, or player two could shoot, or this could be a dribble handoff here. For player 1 screening for player 5 who can pop up for a nice easy 
shot, or he could just use player two as a, as a screen and drive towards the rim. And these two players might be options if their defenders go and pop out on player three. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed today's basketball play. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe because I make these videos every single day. If you are looking for a great basketball workout, check out these Victorum bands. They're absolutely amazing. You can attach them onto a pole, you can work on your first step, or somebody can hold you back and you can run with it and work on your legs. Check them out in the link in the description below. They're amazing.